Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's solve this problem. So given the hypothesis, a triangle has three congruent angles, and a conclusion, it is equiangular. So to write a conditional statement, that's P implies Q, then from the given, this hypothesis is P, and this conclusion is Q. So for a conditional statement, so we have this the implication. So uh, P, so if a triangle has three congruent angles, then Q, then it is equiangular. So this is now the conditional statement. Then for the converse, so that's Q implies P. So we have Q. So if it is equiangular, then P, a triangle, has three congruent angles. So this is now the converse of this conditional statement. And for the inverse, that's the negation of P implies the negation of Q. So, for the negation of P from P, so if a triangle has no, this one is the negation, has no three congruent angles, then for the negation of Q, so it is not equiangular. So, this is now the inverse of this conditional statement. And for the contrapositive, that's the negation of Q implies the negation of P. So for the negation of Q, if it is not equiangular, then for the negation of P, a triangle has no three congruent angles. So this is now how to write a contrapositive of this conditional statement. Then, given this conditional statement, so if a woman gives birth to a child, then she is not a mother. So, from this conditional statement, this one is P, and she is a mother, this one is Q. So, to write the converse, that's Q implies P. So, therefore, if she is a mother, then a woman gives birth to a child. So this is now the converse of this conditional statement. And for the inverse, that's the negation of P implies the negation of Q. So for the negation of P, so if a woman does not give birth to a child, so this one is the negation of P, then for the negation of Q, she is not a mother. So this is now the inverse of this conditional statement. And for the contrapositive, that's not Q implies not P. So therefore, not Q. So if she is not a mother, then for the negation of P, then a woman does not give birth to a child. So this is how to write a converse, inverse, and contrapositive of a conditional statement. 